I've been testing a new Android keyboard called Key, K I I, lately. So I would like to show you how it looks and uh, let's start a Evernote note like this. And uh, clicking here, as you can see, down here is the new Key keyboard. You can swipe and you can predictive type if you want you can choose exactly as you can do on uh, swift key flow and swipe so we testing to type um, test to type I think uh, it works pretty good it's like Swift Key Flow, for example, it works the same. You have some settings here a button to go to the key settings automatically. And here you have the settings for key. Of course, you can choose your own language, you can install a lot of different languages and you can have more than one language activated at the same time and another thing that's great is um, you have word dictionaries you can add your own dictionaries Another cool thing that I miss in Swipe is uh, shortcuts. You can add your own shortcuts. As you can see here as an example. And you can also install different plugins like the Emoji plugin. Emoji. So you can have compatible smileys with uh, the iPhone smileys. These emojis are compatible with the uh, iPhone emojis. So you can send smileys to iPhone users. And of course you have different themes. And so on. And this key keyboard is uh, a beta version. So when it's finished we'll have some premium features that you need to pay for. can change a lot of different stuff so it's a pretty neat keyboard And I think the predictive text works kind of great. But personally, I don't use typing so much, so I prefer to swipe and the king on the king of the swipe keyboard is still swipe for me, so I prefer using swipe still, but this is a great keyboard for people to use, I think. So go and try out the key keyboard, it's available in Google Play Store, I will link to it below the video. Okay, bye.